Hey ladies and gents, it's Sister Wiz here with a review of the Cosmic Legion's Tusk Sentry. That's it right here. It's TU5CC Sentry from the Cosmic Legion's line. Um, here is the new packaging with the bio. It says Tusk Sentry. The enormous gates of Havalkatar inspire a sense of foreboding and dread in those who have the misfortune to gaze upon its rusted face. Perched atop its various walls and hiding within its armored shadows are the soldiers known as Tusk Sentries. Armed with long-range rifles and possessing the lethal close-quarter combat skills necessary to stop any soul unlucky enough to make it through the gunfire, these sentries are not to be crossed. So you have the picture of the... Uh, Tusk Sentry up there with uh, this sort of display uh, to, to its faction or its affiliation. You have the cross cell in the back and the new packaging here, uh, which allows you to see like some of the extra goodies there. And you can pause right here and read all about Havalkatar book one if you want. So that's that. He's got his own uh, dedicated image there. And here he is in all his glory. This is a Legion Builder, a Cosmic Legion Builder, um, which means that he goes for a smaller price point and he has less paint applications so that you can build a whole army of them. And he has plenty of configurations. If you're a customizer, you can paint them up um, or you can use them with different options in the background of your display. Not a named character, but obviously a guard. And of course, every prison, even a cosmic prison, needs its uh, sentries and its guards, and this is uh, no exception. So let's have a look at this real quick. Uh, it shares um, a lot of similarities with the other um, figure as far as the base but um, obviously it's a different color. This one was a pearlescent white, um, the Tusk Science Officer. And this is more of a matte gray, which really shows off a lot of the sculpted details there. And, you know, very much the same sort of um, detail that we've come to ex expect from Mythic Legions. And um, Eric Treadaway really, really knocks this one out of the park. I like this centerpiece, um, which can be popped out and swapped, for example, with, with this one to give it a different look. Um, the belt piece is also different, so that um, differentiates it from the science officer. Um, and I'm not sure if you can pull that one out, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if you could. Uh, pull that out. I'm not going to force it, but anyway, it's different. And actually, now that I'm looking, the belts are sculpted differently as well. So they have different accoutrements attached. The uh, science officer has more of a pouch, and this looks like more uh, ammo, as well as two ports in the back. So yeah, completely different belt. So although the base body is identical, the belt's identical, obviously this piece here which can pop out. Kind of reminds me of the um, Iron Man suit, you know, with these um, power uh, power piece there. I really like this configuration. I really like that look. Also like a jet turbine or something. But um, very sleek, cool, stylized armor look. And these are builders, so uh, kind of like stormtroopers, right? Um, and then, of course, I think that matte gray is going to uh, give you a lot of options if you are handy with a paintbrush. If not, hey, uh, do what I do, take a Sharpie. You can always just paint in details um, as you please, like some of the buckles or whatever, and differentiate your figures that way. So um, let me show you the helmet comes off, and you can even see sculpted details inside the helmet. So a bunch of techie bits. I don't know what that would be, but I imagine it would 
control the oxygen or whatever these beings um, breathe. And then out here, also some more tech bits. I love these bubble helmets. I'm a sucker for old timey spacemen with bubble helmets. And this is no exception. So uh, that looks really cool there. That's one option you can have. These, this sort of, it looks like a, a robotic head, but very sort of techno organic in that the way the lines are, are sculpted, right? With the elongated skull and stuff. You can't really tell if there's an alien skull, an alien head underneath that or whether or not these are robotic. The other cool thing about this is that it comes with a different alternate head. So this might give us a clue as to what they look like under the helmets, but I'm not sure if they all look like that or if it, this is just maybe one of the alien races that guard Havalkatar. The thing I like about this head is that it's really, really alien looking. Again, you got the elongated skull there. Um, good range of motion on that neck peg. But these six eyes, right? If you want a sentry or a uh, you're going to want one that sees what's going on and uh, six eyes, six glowing eyes would enable it to do that. I love it because it's kind of an arachnid feel to it. And um, so, yeah, a very, very scary looking guy. And uh, he is also armed to the teeth. So he has... Uh, this regular rifle that looks sort of like a machine gun, a, futurist, a futuristic space age machine gun. And he also has these removable uh, risk, wrist blasters. So those can pivot. You stick them in the porthole if you want. And he can just, you know, there are many, many different ways for him to pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Shoot you there with that wrist blaster. And then this, uh, a machine gun type blaster, although it may shoot lasers. And then you have the sniper rifle, which is for long range shooting as described. And uh, you know, it, the, the really good uh, articulation enabling him to hold that in a, in a natural pose. And then another wrist blaster here on this side. So if he's if he's if he's holding the rifle, I don't think that I will have him. I don't you know I don't think that I'll have him with the wrist blasters per se, because it seems like a bit of overkill. But like I said, those are easily removable. You just take them out of the ports. And uh, so you can see how you can have a tusk sentry with the alien head, a tusk sentry with the robot head, a tusk sentry with the bubble helmet on and off. Either the alien head fits on there or the robot head. So there's like four different iterations there. And then when you switch up the weapons, you could have the uh, tusk sentry snipers, right? Standing guard there making sure that no one comes from uh, off uh, off the, the planet to or, or off the space station to come and free the prisoners. Or, you know, you can switch that up and have them with the wrist blasters, one blaster, two blasters, or this particular rifle. So they all fit in there snugly, and it's got the trigger fi fi finger there at the ready. So the possibilities are basically endless here. I imagine we're going to probably in the future get some more of these front pieces that can be popped in and out. And that's one of the neat things about the um, Legion builders is I, I usually take it and I start swapping pieces between them. So, so you could have the 
metallic one over on the gray if you wanted. You could switch the belts if you wanted. This one has this sort of armor here on the side. You could switch that over here if you wanted. Or you could just put white arms and white legs. And then there's just an endless number of configurations with just a few different figures. So that is really cool. Um, in addition, they come with these said so ubiquitous uh, four of these um, little plastic plugs that you plug in if you want. And that way he can say have his he can have his rifle plug into the back like that and he can carry it on that port. And there's two different sizes of for these as well. So you can put the longer one. And then you don't have to worry about having a holster. You just sort of pop it on there. And it snaps on like magic. So, uh, in addition to that, you get two other hands. Uh, one thing, I don't remember them doing these with uh, other figures, but they're, these are also grasping hands. And they have the swivel, right to left swivel. And then these shooting hands. Let me check to make sure what this... Oops. Yeah, these have the up and down swivel. So that's kind of handy. Again, like if we ever get swords with these, you'll have the ability to go like this very naturally or go like that. All right, so... Just to sum up, the Sentry comes with four different hands, right? Two extras you can use for accessories. He comes with the sniper rifle. He comes with the more machine gun looking rifle. He comes with two wrist blasters that you pl can plug into the portholes. You see fit, so those are fun. And two of those, and his two extra hands, and then the four plastic ports, the four plastic ports that he, you can use there, as well as the bubble helmet and the two heads, the robotic head and the alien organic, you know, grim looking, visage there. How anybody's going to escape, I don't know, because these th these guys seem like a formidable, formidable force. All right, that is the whiz, and that is it for the Tusk Sentry review. Signing out.